There's nothing simple about this job. Something else going on here? Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Lemon, hmm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Oh. Has led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal. All right, so I messed up and uh, I didn't realize, Lamar, that you were rating your movies on Letterboxd. So I went on there to do something and then I was like, I know I should, but I couldn't help it. So I clicked on Bullet Train and I saw your rating <laughs> on there. Uh, so, the, I, I literally only did that because I saw you put a rating. I was like, oh, we're putting ratings up? I'm, I'm, let me drop mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so since I know your rating, um, Josh, do you want to start this off and say what you thought? Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, going into this, I was hoping that it was going to be a fun movie. And uh, it, it was. It was actually a really, like, fun movie i had a great time watching it mm -hmm. so i yeah this actually was a really good film um uh, at, I, I thought it kind of went on a little bit too long at cer at a certain time but it picked right back up so that's the only like nitpick i have of it but uh now nah, overall yeah no nah, it was it was a really good film um i, I laughed my ass off at a lot of parts mm. uh do i gotta say who stole the show like I well, mean, it's your guys. background, so I think it's obvious. Yeah, I mean, come on now. <laughs> Brad Pitt was cool. He was cool, but yeah, these two, I went for a spinoff. I want a spinoff. Uh, I'm a TV show or another. Movie. Uh, All right, so Lamar, you follow that up with your thoughts on the movie. Uh, my thoughts are I did not like this shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> man. Really? Huh. Oh, my man. jaw dropped when I saw his rating. I was like, what? Mm -mm. Not at all? Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I know not to love the film, but not not even like. No, even I did not. I did not like this shit. Really, <laughs> I did not like this shit. This shit was a. Uh, uh, it was like a, a terrible play on. It was like if they did a if they took all of Quentin Tarantino movies and did like a a, a scary movie version. You know, like the spoof version. It was like that to me. That this shit. Ugh. I could see that with like the dialogue and the jumping back and forth and ex going from this and explaining what's going on there and then coming back. You talking about like that whole thing? Yeah, all of that. And then I hated Brad Pitt in this movie. I wish he didn't do this role. At the, I'll say at the end when they when he said I was the wrong, I accidentally took the other guy's job. The other guy, I could see him doing this role, <laughs> not Brad Pitt. It was like he literally took. The other guy's role for the movie uh, yeah. and as the assassin. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> really? I uh, did not. Oh man! Uh, and I tried. I tried. It was like <laughs> I want to say it was like thirty minutes in, and it's like you could tell you're supposed to be laughing at the guys behind you. And I just kind of looked over at Katrina, and I seen her starting to doze. I was like, "You all right?" <laughs> I was like, "You dozing off?" Damn. <laughs> she was like, "Not yet. I'm almost there." And I was like, "Fuck!" And well, then after that, like 15 minutes after her, I was out. Oh, I was gonna say, did you uh, finish Mar it? Have you ever seen? Uh, have you seen the movie Snatch? I know. Oh, no. oh, no. seen it? Oh, okay. Yeah, like there, there. This this movie did remind me of like certain other unique films that had like a certain style. When it comes mm -hmm. to like the way that they were talking, because they're act like you know they obviously don't speak like that. They have those accents, but yeah. which were convincing. Um, Itachi, you know what uh, Sam told me that this kind of reminded me of like a certain like when I said the style of directing, kind of like Knives Out, a bit. Mm -hmm. Like do you, like you know what I mean? Like not exactly, but the way like yeah, the it's certain quirky. Parts, it was huh? quirky, yeah. yeah. Where it's like yeah. it's a certain type of type of movie, like genre movie, but they add a little quirkiness to it. So I I can kind of see that. Just this yeah, is but, action but, and knives out was a uh, uh, mystery. The mystery, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the same. Like there's bit, totally different, no, but I the, see like the similarity. Yeah. No, the difference was knives out was good. This shit. <laughs> that's I mean, I, I enjoyed Knives Out, but I would have to go with this film uh, over Knives Out. Oh, I I personally. love Knives Out. And mm. it's definitely the better film, but this one was more like more um like you said, fun. I, I actually enjoyed mm. this movie too. I thought it was over the top and fun. Like I was it didn't come yeah. out and it was great. Oh, I loved it. 
But I was like, I have fun watching this movie. So I'm more, I actually agree with Josh. Like, I don't think it's been, I think it's been a while since you and I were on the same page. Because you have been yeah. far left for a while. <laughs> well, like, yeah, well, this movie, like, you know how people say, like, oh, I had fun with it, like, with Marvel films, which are not fun. They're just kind of stupid, like, sort of stupid films. But yeah, this one's quirky in a right way. Like, I, I mean, not every joke landed for me, but uh, yeah, I had a good time. Like, yeah, this is I, this I would is say this would be more one. of the stupid film versus the Marvel films being stupid, but. I had uh, this, to me. I said this one. I would say was more stupid than Marvel. No, no, because no, you didn't see the last Marvel film. <laughs> oh, you did. Which oh, uh, Thor? Thor, Thor, Love oh, and Thunder. God, yeah, no. That yeah, like that. Doctor Strange. Like oh, right, compared to those movies, it's the stupid one. But like you put this movie next to No Way Home, I can see why this might be the the more stupid film. Mm -hmm. But not not to a point where I was like, all right, this this shit ain't funny. No, nah, this is this is the entertainment I liked. So these two were my favorite in the whole movie. I actually liked Brad oh, really? Pitt because he wasn't acting like he normally does in movies. And he was yeah. ridiculously like, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff about him that was super ridiculous, but that's what I liked about it. Cause it was just so over the top and like, yeah, I don't know. I, I had fun with it. I, I think like Brad Pitt's good playing those type of roles. Like I never realized like how a, a you know good actor he is. Same with uh, this guy. Aaron Taylor Johnson, mm -hmm. his other movies, he's kind of stale, but this one, uh, what was that one? Uh, Nocturnal Animals. He's great at playing those type of characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I enjoy, uh, I actually, I like every almost everybody in this. Movie. What's his name? Paperboy, I actually liked in this movie because I think the last couple movies he was in, I didn't care for, like, um, Godzilla, oh. was it Godzilla? <laughs> Godzilla versus yeah, Kong. Yeah, Godzilla, nah. I felt like they were trying to make him funny and it wasn't landing. And nah. this one, I thought I enjoyed him in this one. Yeah, yeah. No, the he needs an added to it. got some shit rolls. What's up? What's the up? accent added to it. Yeah. <laughs> that accent was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the accent, the fade, hair. You kept fading in and out of that accent. <laughs> <laughs> it, it seemed so. Uh, it seemed so forced. It was like they tried to, for me, just for me, it mm -hmm. seemed like they tried to force that uh, John Travolta and Samuel Jackson chemistry. And it wasn't working for me. It mm -hmm. just wasn't working for me. I, it's <laughs> like, I thought that had great chemistry. I, 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 back, I, I'm only I, saying what I feel. I'm only yeah. saying what I feel. Even when they went back to the to the count and the kill scenes, I'm not saying I didn't laugh. I chuckled a little bit, but it wasn't like, ah! It's like, I, I, it felt so forced. Mm -hmm. It felt so for the Thomas the Train shit, the fucking uh, what's the bad bunny being a fucking psycho killer from his wedding? It's like it's bad like they bunny. took all of them, they took all of Quentin Tarantino's movies and put it all in this, mm -hmm. and it was like Brad Pitt act act like Channing Tatum or fucking the other guy. It, okay. it the shit just didn't it, man. I, I hate you guys that ended up saying the Marvel. I, I, to me, I think it's better than the last three Quentin Tarantino movies that came out. Yes, so. to me. <laughs> I think yeah, to, <laughs> to me, to me, to me. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> Uh, this, I, Brad Pitt saying, "Dude, I don't ever want to hear him say that dude, shit again." I don't even know you, <laughs> dude. He was great, dude. I didn't even crack me up. Dude, it's not me, dude. I was like, Brad Pitt, please stop, please stop. Uh, did you see Channing Tatum in this movie, or were you asleep? I saw the the, gl the glimpse of him. Yeah, that can That's cool cameo. Yeah, there was a few other cameos. Oh, uh. Lamar, when when a certain person came on the movie, I thought of you because I can't unsee Michael Jackson now. Once you said <laughs> Michael Jackson, like right? Like him, right? <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Like, okay, so it, it felt like even with seeing her, it felt like they did both of these movies back to back. Because remember the one she just came out with with, with Brad Pitt. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just as dumb, and the jokes are just as forced as this one. And Channing Tatum. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, all three of them. Yeah. yeah, and you know what's funny? Uh, the guy that did this movie, I think he uh, he did uh, Deadpool two, I believe. So yeah, like, that's I really heard. Heard. yeah, that's yeah, heard. yeah. So maybe like I mean, maybe that's his title style because there was there were some jokes in Deadpool I thought too were funny, but it kind of just went on for long. But when I saw this, I wouldn't even know because I thought the action in this was actually good, like still funny but also cool, like some like almost like John Wick shit. I would say just a little bit more comedic. The guy that did this did John Wick too. 
He did? From what I heard. The sequel or dead. the first one? I don't know which one. I, I just heard he did John Wick, Deadpool, and something else. Really? Mm-hmm. Sure. I, I gotta look that up. Because if so, then every every movie he does, I'm gonna be there watching it. Because I'll all three John Wick <laughs> films are good. Deadpool two is I, right. but I think he's gotten better. But this this one, yeah, this one, shit. I don't know. Maybe top five. Maybe honorable mention. It's up there. Shit. We just gotta we just gotta see what uh, Black Panther two can bring to the theater. You got Black Panther and a uh, Woman King. No, I was like, this ain't Black Panther two. Is like, <laughs> is it? <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> they did show they showed the previews back to back. Like, damn, is this a continuation? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'm down to see both those movies. I like what's her name, uh, Viola Davis and John Wayegas. Really I didn't even know he was in it. So when the trailer came on, he mm-hmm. showed up. And I was mm-hmm. like, what's going on? Like another African movie, another movie that takes place in Africa. And then I saw her. I was like, oh, I didn't realize he was in it. Mm-hmm. And it's got the girl from Bruised. Did you see yeah. that? No. I don't know why I'm asking mm-hmm. you. That Halle Berry movie, uh, Bruised, <laughs> the lady from that. Is <laughs> <laughs> She's a good actress, too, though. She's a good actress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Wait, is she, was she in, uh, did anybody see Doctor Strange, too? Yeah. Was is that the actress you're talking about? Or is that somebody else? No. I know- uh, so, so you talk about Doctor Strange, the one I kept doing that stupid ass pose. Yeah. No, that's not her. <laughs> that was fuck that movie. Maybe I fell. Maybe I fell asleep on. It. I don't remember. You you wouldn't forget that dumb ass pose she did three times and then got her ass whooped. <laughs> oh wait, are you talking about are you talking about the Fantastic Four scene? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, you she don't she was right? Captain Marvel. It was Captain Marvel at like there was a different Captain Marvel. There was a different. But are you talking um, about are you talking about the girl that played the Captain Marvel? Was that who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only, the only, the only black, only black girl that. Okay, yeah, no, that's not her. Yeah, not. But I know she's in that the movie we're just talking about, but I don't know her name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I will say my my movies this year are very slim, so my top five is gonna be like movies. Probably oh, I got my top five my top right five. now. I'm just, I, I'm, I got my top five right now. I'm just waiting till December to see if anything drops out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think of, like I said, Black Panther uh, has potential. Mm-hmm. I don't see Avatar anywhere on my list. Sorry, Lamar. You, you that all you men. Don't count it out. You know. never know because we do have to watch I, it. I, I, I don't give a <laughs> damn what nobody thinks. <laughs> No, I mean, I, 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 I'll go see it, but like, it's nothing that I'm. Well, I think it's. We, I think we are talking about it, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we well, we have sense. to see it. That's why I said, don't count it out because you might yeah. end up liking it. A lot of those, a lot of those previews, <laughs> we'll a lot of they show like ten previews for this movie. A lot of them were good. A lot I, of them. So Tasha, I even saw. The, I even saw the um the one you said where she got invited to that house. That I want to see good. that. That that comes out next weekend. I want to see that. The uh, invitation. Yeah, that yeah. shit looks crazy too. I'm, I'm watching that. But, but it looks crazy, but I feel like they put all the action in the preview. That's why I was oh, like, damn it. it. When I was watching it and I was like, fuck, this looks good. So I like plugged my ears and stopped watching. <laughs> but I was like, I got the, because as the trailer's going, I predicted it and then they called it out and I was like, ah, oh, I want to see this. And now yeah. it's kind of ruined, it, but it, I'm still going to keep it out. No, it seems like they tried to fool me. It seems like it's going to be like a Twilight like the pace of it, like that type of you got to care about these characters type, mm-hmm. even though they're real, unlike Twilight, but it it, it seems like that pacing is diff- is like I that. Feel, I feel it's going to be like a ready or not. I don't think Twilight. so. Twilight as in the vampire movie? Yeah. <laughs> really? I, I guess no, that. no, Josh, not saying I like it. I said I think they're fooling me. I think because the, pre- the way they shot the preview, it's like mm-hmm. they did all the drama and the action. Mm-hmm. As I'm watching, I'm like, no, nah, I think they're trying to trick. Me. It looks good, but I'm like, I think they're trying to trick me. Yeah, I feel like Ready or Not did give it a lot of stuff in the preview, and I still enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. So hopefully mm-hmm. it is yeah. like that, where they gave you all the action, mm-hmm. but you still enjoy it when you watch it. So we'll see. But I do definitely want to check that one out. Yeah, that looks. It's, there was a lot of previews that look good this time. I want to see, uh, what's it called, Beast with uh, Idris Elba. That's what I want to see. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, and and um, like I do want to see it too, but it's like I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's gonna be great. Yeah, I don't think 
great. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to be good. You might enjoy it more <laughs> than this one. I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely. <laughs> so that's saying something. Yeah, I I already have my worst movie of the year, and I don't think y'all know what it is, or y'all haven't even seen it. I don't think you've seen it yet. I don't think it's even out yet. No, 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 it's out. It's out. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, as far as movies I've seen this year, there's one movie that is complete garbage, trash. Did we, we talk about it? it? Did we all see it? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Me and oh, Kenny okay. saw it. I don't, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Oh no, I think uh, I heard you talk about it before. Is it the yeah, one? Is yeah. it the one Kenny just posted about? No, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that is called. Uh, what's it called? Fall. It's like they're too. Fall. Yeah, like they're they're stuck somewhere. Mm. Uh, I might check that out when at home because I think that might. Be, I don't know how much you can do when you're just stuck in like. <laughs> up in the air anxiety though i can see i can see anxiety being a, a big oh, no, anxiety, yeah but like oh, well, I don't know wait, how long, wait a minute movie like that you know kind of like I, phone movie <laughs> you can't hold on. Like, what's up? no there is a movie i just seen that is a candidate for the worst and i'm wondering if it's the same movie <laughs> i'm wondering well josh's movie i think i know what it is it's got a, a rock band in it right yeah. Oh no, that's not what yeah. I was thinking. About. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, that bro. So, dude, bro, whatever the fuck, like that. Oh, <laughs> dude. Right. dude, dude, you said dude, bro, whatever the fuck. It's like it's like I'm going dude, back. I didn't even before. like it, dude, bro, bro, dude, <laughs> fuck, bro, dude. Oh my god, like, oh. nah, like I, I, I didn't care for Black Phone, but I didn't, I didn't think it was the worst. It wasn't horrible. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've seen a movie this year that was like, oh my god, that was so horrible. I, have, I don't think I have one yet. So mm-hmm. far, Bullet Train, Black Phone. Uh, <laughs> but, like, uh, like, could be on your worst movie of the year? Yes. Bullet Black Train, Phone, really? Well, Bullet Train, Black Phone, uh, the one where the guy was a wolf and joined the pack to come back and Horseman. save his family. Yeah, it, I got a list. Oh, I got a list. Thor, Love, and Thunder. I haven't that seen that yet. I mean, okay, I'm gonna say this, Tasha. Do you remember when he's all he made love to a woman wolf on a like what is it? It was like something he made love to a woman wolf on a wolf that's a woman. Or I don't know. Like it was a oh in the beginning that whole joke. montage. And like, yeah, and I was like, yeah. you are fucking losing me. That shit was not funny. <laughs> that I don't know who wrote that joke. All right, yeah, uh, Thor, Thor was not good. Nah, nah. There was. I need to know when this movie came out. There was one movie me and Katrina just watched, <laughs> and it was some, it was some bullshit. Was it uh, Netflix or BET Plus or? It was one of those. It was like uh, these people were hanging off a cliff. Did you see that? Mm-mm. They're like hanging on the on the poster. The woman's hanging, and the dude's like hanging and trying to grab her. Doesn't sound familiar. I think. I, okay, Josh. I think if you were to get medicated and watch that movie with Sam, you guys would think that movie is fucking hilarious. Of how bad but it's supposed it? to be like a thriller. <laughs> What's it called again? I, I gotta find it. Do you know uh, who's in it? No, <laughs> I don't know these people. Text Katrina. And ask her. Uh, um, I'll ask it. I'll ask what it's called. All right. So, Josh, what at what point did this movie lose you? Well, you said it lost you, but then it got you back. Like, when did it start? To come? I, I think near, like, uh, near the end where, like, they're about to meet up. What's his name with uh, the, what's it called? The White, uh, is it the White Devil or whatever it's called. Like, White before Wolf they meet up with Michael Shannon. Yeah. You know, like, on the train and the, the dude's telling them about the backstory of why. Are you uh, talking about the White Samurai? He, yeah. What yeah, was his name? yeah. The White like, Wolf or the White Demon or White Devil or something? He was a white guy playing a samurai. Yeah, it was Michael Shannon. Uh, fucking dumb. But uh, yeah, it was a part where like yeah, the, the other guy that wanted to. No, he was Russian. Him. They said he was Russian. But he was, was a Russian? samurai. <laughs> Russian, Romanian. I don't know exactly. Was he Romanian? R- no, Russian. no, that's what he, he was. Russian. Was Russian. Okay. Yeah, like that. That part near the end, I was kind of like, uh, like before they met up with him. Yeah, yeah, but like it was only. I guess that was the only minor issue I had. Yeah, so. like around that time is when it starts. It, it was a little too long. Yeah, yeah. But did you did you see the little part at, during the credits with uh, Brian no, we, and Henry? I, I, I watched it. Oh yeah. Oh, you talking about where you find out? 
<laughs> he killed the little girl. <laughs> and Jareen. <laughs> <laughs> It it was it was so over the top that I that's I think that's why I enjoyed it. I wasn't really expecting it to be as over the top as it was, but it started out like yeah ridiculous. I, I think, so I was like, okay, I, I, I know what this is gonna be. Yeah, so. and I think throughout the the, the jokes throughout the movie kind of didn't come out of nowhere because it it did set the tone. So even when they're showing like how the water bottle, <laughs> like that, everybody had like a backstory. <laughs> Everything like. <laughs> And, like I can, I can see somebody watching this and thinking like I'm not gonna like it because there's some movies I don't care when they do stuff like that. But for for some reason, I thought like the way they did it with like the snake the water, like everybody had a backstory, even if they weren't gonna be in it in it uh, for that long. Yeah, yeah. Because like, <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Zazie Beats got taken out pretty quick. Oh yeah, but I didn't know she was gonna be the person in the fucking uh, costume. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of faces in this movie. I was because I saw the trailer and I seen everybody that was gonna be in it, but when I watched it, I kind of forgot. So when they showed up, I was like, oh shit. So that was dope. Yeah. Like I wasn't expecting her, Michael Shannon. I forgot Sandra Bullock was in it. But then the other two were surprises. Channing Tatum and uh Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. That they was were complete surprises. Surprise. So yeah. Did did that guy do that movie that they were all in? Uh which one are you talking about? Uh what was it called? One, uh, uh well, she wrote the book and then they were like she was like alive in the book with the yeah, Chad and Tatum, Tatum was the dude. Oh, you talking about the Lost, the Lost City? Lost City. Yeah. I think that's what it was called. Uh, Lost City. That. Maybe. I, I gotta look it up. I don't even know the dude's name. I just remember they. that's how they promoted the movie, saying from the director of Deadpool 2. Hmm. And it makes sense because Ryan Reynolds has a little small cameo in it as Carter. Right. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Dick, the dick who uh, bailed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why he didn't know Bad Bunny. Because he wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and yeah, I, I had fun with that. I got the list. I got the list. Hey, this is like one of the oh, most diverse on, casts I've seen in a while. What's up? I think I got a list of his movies. Uh, the director of this one? Yeah, he uh, did Deadpool. He did Atomic Blonde, John Wick, uh, Fast and Furious, Deadpool Two, Escape Plan, The Born Legacy. He did hell of shit, actually. Hmm. Wait, is this his directing? Is it directing or producing or just straight up directing? Oh, you know what? He's an actor too? I feel like I did hear that. Hey, I think yeah, uh, the guy who produced this movie, Bullet Train, was Antoine. What's it called? Antoine, Antoine Fuqua. Fuqua. Yeah, oh, yeah. Producer, director. Director. Mm -hmm. uh, did, this guy's name is David Lech or Lechy Lech. Oh. Not Lynch, but Lynch. Yeah, yeah. Not Lynch, but Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> not Lynch. I'm not Lynch, but not Lynch. David Lynch. No, not yeah. David Lynch. <laughs> let me be clear. Uh, shit, let me look that up. I got my laptop right here, so. So, uh, do you want to just move on to rate this movie, or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I literally don't have a lot to say. Like I said, I just. <sighs> I don't want to see Brad Pitt do this I, anymore. <laughs> I highly recommend this movie. This is, you know, like I said, turn off your brain. This is the right amount of turn off your brain, have fun. And uh, yeah, that, that's what I would say. It's just a fun time. Check it out. You know, and you know, I, I don't think you have to go to the movie theater to see it to enjoy it. You know, so it, I think you can enjoy it either way. Mm -hmm. So that that's my take. Uh, we doing, we're going to do our ratings now. Or are we going to? Okay. Yeah, Lamar, uh, I'll go first. I want to hear what Lamar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lamar, <laughs> no, I think I know what Lamar is. I know. I want him to say what his rating is. Okay. I believe I did a one and a half. <laughs> yeah. Really? Damn. I was like, maybe he gave it two and a half, maybe. Hey, you know what? Yeah, I believe like I, I said, can see that. Like, no, because like I said, I did laugh a little bit. But that's why I got the half. Yeah. Oh, that's why I got but the one. Was, yeah, but it was so forced, man. Like, oh, uh, man. Oh, man. But uh, I was going to say, but you made it through. But no, you fell asleep. I fell asleep. I woke up. I fell asleep again. Then I woke up and watched the last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little cat nap in to get through it. Oh, uh, no, I some dog naps. <laughs> All right, Josh. My turn. Um, yeah, I'll give it three and a half stars. That's yeah. what I think that are here on this that. movie. Hmm? I said, You and I are here on this movie. This might be the only one this year that we were just, yeah, yeah. I, I gave it three and a half, also, yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Tasha, would you would you recommend this movie to anybody? Yeah, just uh, for empty, you know, empty fun, like. Yeah. Don't expect oh, anything of substance from it. Just expect to, you know. This could have been on Hulu. Mm, nah, it's too advanced for that. Absolutely, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think it's doing really well at the box office either. Because it's first terrible. weekend, I think the first weekend it did okay, and then, well, that was just last weekend they came out, right? Yeah, it came yeah. out last weekend. That, there's not been too many movies that's are coming out that's been doing well. Like when Top Gun, came out Thor, was up. Top Gun, Top Gun is still doing well. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's still good. How about Nope? Is that doing good still? Or is, was that even doing good? Yeah, he just crossed a hundred million. Oh, okay. I haven't really been hearing anything about it. Like the when it first came out, it was just like everybody had. Yeah, it was like new, Jordan Peele got a new movie coming out, so that's that's what yeah. I. Uh, he just crossed actually, 100 million. Shoot, I might I might have to put this above Nope, in my opinion. I mean, I know. I, who, yeah, how did y'all feel about Nope again? I I didn't care for it. Oh yeah, okay, that's. He right. didn't like, like it. I liked it. I liked it. This shit is nowhere near. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, I I would have to say yeah. I, 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 me personally, I would, I would put it above note. Yeah, I, I love how, I love how you guys keep reiterating. Was it? Was that? I love how you guys keep reiterating that it's no, your I personal just, opinion. No, that's, I, what I, 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 that's what you gotta say nowadays. No, <laughs> the reason why I did it because I knew Josh. If he liked it, he's gonna tell you why you're wrong. So I was like, wait, wait. In my opinion, right now he's going to be sarcastic. <laughs> he's saying it to be sarcastic to me. <laughs> 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 I'll say this: I can see how Lamar didn't like it, and I could see how Josh enjoyed it. Like when I saw the rating, I was like, "Oh, mm-hmm. damn, really?" And I was like, "Oh, yeah, I guess I can kind of see why he gave it such mm-hmm. a little rating." <laughs> so to each his own. So I, I could have hated it, but you know, there, there was a point as a film, like the the start of the film, it, it caught my interest, but I was not sure if I was going to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But as as it went on, I started really, really enjoying it. Like what sold me in the uh the trailer, the why, why I wanted to see it is when they're in the quiet part of the train mm-hmm. and they're trying to be quiet while they're fighting each other. Like I thought right. that was funny. Yeah, that and, and the actors okay. and it sold me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Actually, like you know, they got a great cast. Using, in it. using the the trailer, that's how they lied to me. They made it seem like <laughs> it was the same Brad Pitt. Like even in that quiet scene, he's kind of sarcastic, but it's not as goofy as he was in his fucking movie. He wasn't. He wasn't as goofy and and acting all fragile. And I had bad luck. Like, I thought oh, he did. Yeah, I he did a good job in it. I thought he's. I, I, he was convincing as a character. I. I thought he was good. I hated that shit. <laughs> I don't ever want to see him do this again. I, I have such an appreciation for who he is. You want Brad Pitt to be Brad Pitt? You, you yes, be that's Brad. what I want. Yeah. That's what yeah. I want. Yeah. Okay. I got you. You want. You want sexy Brad Pitt. Got it. I didn't say none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because that's pretty much what he is in other hey, movies. I, so I, I have never seen him that way. I just <laughs> want straight, like, like serious. You want, Brad you Pitt want, like you that. want. Once upon a time in Hollywood, Brad Pitt. I want Ocean's Eleven, Mister and Mrs. Smith. I want that Brad Pitt where he uh-huh. just beats ass and he, he keeps the same cool. I can never get I into that. this. I gotta watch this again. Yeah, I Which think one? that's why I liked oh, it because he wasn't. I never really get into Ocean's Eleven or Ocean series. I the I first one's the best one. Mm. Yeah. The first one. All right, eleven. I want to see the first one. Uh, Ocean's one. Ocean's one. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, Ocean's eight is the first. Hey, you got, I know why you guys are making that joke, but there was somebody out there after you said, "Think I'm like, it's the first one." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Lamar, have you you, you yeah, know why I, I said that? You, yeah, you, you said it. You told me. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I said it's going to be somebody else out there. Like, wait a minute. Like, there's ten more. There's ten previous ones. Oh, okay. uh, I forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah. So that that's the bullet train discussion. Um, so I looked up upcoming movies and just made a list to see what you'd be interested in. The next one is Beast. So there's not really anything between, and that comes out actually this weekend. Oh yeah, let me check that out. So I mean, we wouldn't have to watch it this weekend and talk about it next week, but yeah. that's the next one coming out. Um, yeah. y- y'all don't want to talk about Halloween ends, do you? No. Nah. No. <laughs> you're still. You're gonna watch it, Josh. I don't know why you're acting like not you're gonna, gonna see it. I, all right, maybe you're I'll, gonna I'm watch it. Not going to the theater. Right, you're, maybe you're gonna, gonna see it. I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna, gonna see it. 
I was like, I'm, yeah, not I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying you're gonna see it by myself in the theater. I I'm mean, not like, even. Somebody no. likes me, maybe. I'm, I'm like, not even saying you're gonna like it. You're not gonna like going to see it, but you're gonna see it. You're gonna be pissed off, but you're gonna go. See he's it. not. He's not gonna like the fact that he's gonna go see it. He's gonna go see yep. it. And the way his movies are going this year, he's gonna be like. <laughs> I thought that was a really good close. Nah. Like, nah. Like, I'm like, I'm surprised. Nah. No, Tasha, Tasha, you get on if, there like, if you know, that's the case, I will be surprised. One. I will this be movie shocked. Was I was everything like, everywhere. Oh, like, <laughs> what would you say, Lamar? Yes, I am. We were talking while he was making said, a joke, and now it's ruined. I said, I said you're going to get on and be like, you know, I said everything everywhere all at once, but this movie was everything everywhere all at once. I want to give it six stars. <laughs> I can only get That's five. The way you're rating, oh, the way you're rating going. You're if, like, I do, you're if I do like it, I'm taking it. To if you're gonna I'm recommend not the series, <laughs> if you're gonna recommend the series, you give me two good ones to start it off. Give me some bullshit in between, and then you wrap it up with an incredible movie like this. <laughs> we are calling it right now. <laughs> All right. What, his, his top five is going to be Halloween. <laughs> no, no, no. Avatar. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's, okay Avatar it's a possibility be, to be number five. If, 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 not you number pick, one. if you pick Avatar, the show is over. <laughs> is Avatar in your top five? I have a heart because what's his name? James Cameron, do fucking douchebag. He, I don't know, man. The guy that made the last Avatar, I wasn't really that big on. So. Is and, it the same guy? Yeah, it's the same guy. Okay. And for some reason, it's taking him a long ass time to make this sequel. I don't know why. Um, for special effects, maybe. But mm. I, I think this, it, it's gonna. I think it's gonna. The film's gonna look good, but that's gonna be it for the film. I think it's just mm. gonna be a good looking film, and that's cool. But that's not enough to make me want to say it's a great film. It's just, it's cool to look at. You know what I mean? I've, that's I've learned I mean. not to. I've learned not to anticipate anything this year. Everything I pretty much anticipated has been in the gutter, except for Nope. And Nope wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. Bullet Train, remember, besides Nope, Bullet Train was what I was anticipating. And this shit is stupid. <laughs> so I'm done. Damn. Okay. Yeah. I, I think the uh, movie I anticipated, there's only one movie I had high, like, whether I highly anticipated for, and it actually delivered. Y'all know which one that one was, right? It, probably Batman, but it... It, it, was, it was not. It is. <laughs> Maybe Batman. I don't know, but... <laughs> Because <laughs> I could, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I couldn't like I would always put hello fucking videos um, you know, before, like, during, and after. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so do you guys want to do Beast? Are you guys down to watch that one and talk about okay. it? Uh, my question: Is there anything coming out the following weekend? <laughs> Nothing I saw. Why? When? When is? Uh, Why? What's the, the, the end? Because <laughs> you don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I looked. And... You know no, you know what? I'm interested in seeing you guys' take on this Snoop Dogg and Jamie Foxx movie. Josh ain't gonna like that. I'm gonna watch it. I'll watch it. I'll watch I watched it, it already. Mm-hmm. But I, I want to see what you guys' did. take. Is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I well, knew you were gonna I'm watch it before you even watched it. Oh, you just know I'm gonna watch it. Like you, like. you, know, you probably gave it four stars before you even watched it. You no. probably because it had Snoop in it. That's how I knew you were gonna watch it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just give Snoop. Have you guys? No, okay. You know what? Movie? After okay, if this if he doesn't like Bullet Train, then uh, then maybe that movie is actually really good. So I, I'm actually interested in seeing it now. So I'm gonna watch it on Netflix tonight. So you want to do that instead of Beast? No, we yeah we can yeah. do that. Yeah, we can definitely you guys do want that. to. <laughs> Only if you guys want to. Well, I'll say this. I, 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 really wasn't interested, I, I wasn't interested in Beast. I am interested in Day Shift. So if it was- I think, okay, let me predict for Day Shift and you can do the rewind on this. I think Josh is going to like it, but his his uh, his uh movie critic inside is not going to want to give it a high rating. So he's going to give it like a three and a half, but he'll like it. And then Tasha, I think you, it, it, was, it was cool. You're going to give it a three. Okay. Okay. That's my prediction. I'll I'll pin this so that oh. way I can do the. Uh, what's that? What's that? It's called Day Shift or whatever. What's, what's the movie Day on Netflix? Shift. Yeah. Right, what do you, What do you think I'm gonna? Do you think I'm gonna like it? Hate it? How do you feel? You what, just what said. You, was it up? What? You literally what? just said. No, for you said for Beast. I thought you were talking about Beast. No. He's oh no no no, no not Beast for Day Shift. 
Oh, my bad. I think you're talking about Beast. My bad. That's oh, why I got no. confused. No, okay, uh, okay, we, okay. we decided we weren't going to watch that. Um, mm-hmm. So, so we're talking about Nation. <laughs> I, I, either way, I'm, I'm cool either way. And I'm, I'm going to see Beast. But, I, yeah. Like I said, there's 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 a lot of reasons why I can see Josh liking it. Like you you you're not gonna hate it, but mm-hmm. I, I think like um, do you I think know, like, like 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 how I don't like I don't like uncooked onions. So if you give me a burger, the burger be good, but the uncooked onions <laughs> there. Netflix is like your uncooked onions. Do, <laughs> like do you think like I watch I'll, I watch it and be like, it's a Netflix movie. I can't really trip. Yeah, you know, it's all for free. So I mean that's kind of what it is right now. Like. It's like, how the hell could I be mad at a free movie that didn't cost it's me? It's platformism. Shit. You have platformism against yeah. uh, hey, any movie that how comes much, out of platform. <laughs> how did, I don't remember. How did you feel about Jamie Foxx's other movie that we did on here? The uh, uh, Project, Project Power. I thought that was okay. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I liked it. I think I liked it. Yeah, I think I, I for the most part, I think Netflix movies that we've watched, with the with the exception of a couple, they they've been okay. Buzzsaw. <laughs> Velvet Buzz oh, Saw. maybe a few. John Henry. Oh, Saw. Lord Jesus. I forgot about John Henry. And I know Josh didn't too much care for The Heart of They Fall. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I, 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 for the most I part, like, they've been like, like okay, but. Did anybody watch, uh, did we talk about Prey? Did anybody check, want to check that one I'm not, out? I'm not interested. I don't, I don't, uh, I, I don't not, watch not, the Predator I mean, movie. About it, but, no, yeah. no, I'm going to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. I just I just don't know when. I'm gonna watch it though. Mm. Yeah, the other Hulu movie I liked was uh what was it called? Run? I thought that was an okay movie. Oh yeah. With the girl in the wheelchair and the mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that was a fun conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but no, Josh, I really think you'll like um I think you'll appreciate what they did with uh Daisha. Okay. I mean, like, I'm, the way it looks, it seems like it's like, I mean, I, I know you don't like Bullet Train, but like, it seems like, is it kind of like that type no, of like? No, no, So, So take out the aspect of what you've seen with Snoop in the previews, because he's not, mm-hmm. he's not the bulk of the movie. Okay. Actually, I, I've only seen like, uh, like, you know how like YouTube, they show you like a little image it's of the Dave movie? It's Dave Franco and Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Yeah. And... The girl, she's, I forgot what she's in. Like, she's been in a few other movies, but I haven't seen, I haven't heard anything. I haven't seen any previews, so I can just go in mm-hmm. not knowing. Like, all I know, it's a vampire movie with Snoop Dogg and Jamie Foxx. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go into the open mind and give like, my Like I said, I opinion. think I, I gave my, I think you're going to give it a three and a half because of your mm-hmm. platformism. And Tasha's going to like it. She's going to give it a three. <laughs>